I mean, that's moving like 80 yards yeah. left to right in the wind. It's just incredible how tough that is. When you're a good sound ball striker, then you can, you can lean on your eye and play because you sort of back yourself to produce the right yardage at least by striking it correctly. Yeah, we've got 217 yards to the front of the green. Obviously the fifth at St Andrews is a, one of the biggest greens in the world. So I'm carrying this week, I'm carrying a two iron and a four iron. So four iron's not gonna do it because the wind's howling into and off the left. So I'm actually gonna hit a two iron, but I can't afford to hit it low because if it lands on the green low, it's just gonna propel itself 60, 70 yards past the flag. So where it's just such a vast green. So I'm actually gonna try and hit this quite high because uh, I've got plenty of club to get there and then try and get a soft landing. But obviously by hitting it high, the wind is gonna take the most effect that it possibly can on the ball. I'm gonna look to start this maybe 35, 40 yards left of the target. It's incredible, isn't it? Look at that. It's just incredible how tough that is. Having a full understanding of all of the tools that you've got to tackle the golf course in front of you, you know, just knowing how far you hit each club, knowing what is possible and what isn't possible, you know, how far can you hook it, how far, how far can you fade it, you know, and all the different yardages that that produces. There's a lot of knowledge that goes in. Um, obviously, most guys on the tour have got that experience just from hitting thousands of shots under pressure. And you, in that moment, obviously, picking the right club and picking the sensible target and being aware of where the wind is, where you're trying to land it. There's so much that goes into it. And uh, I think the more awareness that you can have of, of all those different things is obviously going to stand you in good stead for certainly the greens in regulation part of it.